Are you getting the error message a problem was detected with the true depth camera, face ID has been disabled? This can happen for a number of reasons like software glitches, hardware issues or even just some settings being off. No worries though, I've got you covered with some easy steps to troubleshoot and fix the problem. Let's get into it. Solution 1. Check the quick settings. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on accessibility. Now scroll down again and tap face ID and attention. Make sure to enable the following options. Require attention for face ID. Attention aware features. Also turn on haptic on successful authentication. If these options are already turned on, then try toggling them off and then turning them back on again. If you can't find these options here, then it's the time to run a hardware test for your face ID. Solution 2. Run a face ID hardware test. Open the app store on your device. Type check my device in the search bar and install the app. Once it's installed, open the app. Scroll down until you find the face ID test option. Tap the game test to check if face ID is working properly. If the test fails, this might indicate a hardware issue with the true depth camera. In that case, you'll need to reach out to Apple Care for further assistance. But before you do that, try these two quick settings. Solution 3. Reset Face ID. Open settings again, scroll down and tap on Face ID and Passcode. Enter your passcode when prompted. After that, tap Set up Face ID and follow the instructions to set it up again. This can help fix any recognition issues that might have popped up. Solution 4. Update and reset all settings. Go to Settings on your iPhone. Tap on General. Now tap Software Update. If there's an update available, go ahead and install it. If there isn't an update, then go back to the previous menu. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Reset and choose Reset All Settings. Don't worry, this will reset things like your Wi-Fi passwords but won't delete your personal data. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the true depth camera error and get your Face ID back up and running. Let me know in the comments if these steps help or if you have any more questions. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips.